Hi, my name's Alex. This is Operation Game Table, and we are going to be unboxing Firefly. Firefly, the game, 10th anniversary, collector's edition. This box looks awesome. Looks like it's packed pretty well. Lots of styrofoam. Oh my gosh, the box is huge. Look at it. Oh man, it's upside down in here. Let me turn this around. Was that a dinosaur? It's a dinosaur on the front of the box. There's some cool artwork. There's Firefly. It's pretty cool. Let's take this thing out. Man, that's heavy. That is a heavy box. All right, let's get rid of this and put this in the center here. Okay, let's take the plastic off. Okay, pretty cool looking box. Back of the box, there's even art on the bottom of the box. Anybody who likes Firefly will probably like the game. This looks like the instruction manual. This is a pretty nice instruction manual as far as the way it feels, the way it looks. This is pretty nice. Lots of rules, but all the type is really big. So I'll be doing how to play video later on. Right now we're just checking out everything that's in here. Firefly the game, 10 years since the first game came out. So this is the anniversary edition of the game. Some stickers, and then here's all the cardboard things to punch out, which is always fun. More things to punch out. Man, look how tiny these are. There's a dinosaur cutout here. Maybe that's your first player marker. Cargo, cargo tokens, passenger tokens. All right, cool. Oh, cool, there's the map for the board. Okay, yeah, it looks like there's lots of cool stuff in here. Let's pull this section out. There's another section underneath. Let's see what's in this section here. I'm gonna set this over here on top of the cardboard and we'll look in here. Solo play cards, story cards, setup cards. These are envelopes. Flying solo, game setup, contract quirks, standard game setup. Lots of big cards in here. And these cards are huge. Wow, oh, man, look at this. The dinosaur is heavy. It's like made out of metal. It's pretty detailed. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the quality. This is pretty cool. Dice, different color dice. I'm excited. I'm excited about playing this game. This is fun. This is cool. This is the money. What? This money looks awesome. All right, let's see. How do you open this bag? Oh my gosh, it feels like real paper money. This is not the cheap stuff, guys. This is not cheap Monopoly money. This feels like, this feels like real money. Looks so cool. That's the $5,000, $2,000, $1,000, $500, $100, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000
break out such a huge game. Very cool. So this is the Serenity. This is the one from the show and the movie. All right. Very, very cool. So I'm not sure if I'm going to remember how to put all this stuff back in here. There's a little spot for the dinosaur right here. That's obviously where that goes. Dice go back in here. Cards and the money hopefully fit in here. And this bag, solo play cards. We'll put this back on top and let's look at what else is in the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? Anybody know that movie reference? Put it in the comments, please. Love to see if anybody knows that. Brad Pitt movie. What's in the box? Okay. What do I take out next? This is all one piece. I thought this was gonna be a separate piece. Oh man, there's artwork inside the box too. So cool. Okay, let's see if I can get this out of here without hurting the box. It's a little tricky. It's a little tricky. It's a good thing they put the little grooves there to help you. Wow, what's in here? There's so much cool stuff. Okay, let me set this aside and we'll take a look at this. This is gonna have the game board right here in this mat. Oh, this is cool. Anybody that likes enhancing the gameplay experience by buying all the cool stuff, this is how you do it. A nice mat. Man, look at that. That's nice. A nice non-slip on the back. Now let's put this out here. Look at that. All right, so you've got the white sun in the middle. Firefly the game. Find a crew, find a job, keep flying. Well, there's Mr. Universe over here. Dragon's Egg. This looks like a pretty cool map. Okay, what else? What else came inside this section here? Let's take a look. We've got Rim Space cards, Alliance Alert cards, Alert Bounty Wanted Alive, Bound by Law. And each one of these, this is gonna be fun. It's gonna be like playing a whole episode changes every time you play the game. This is cool. And even the section here has a little cutout so you know what to put in each spot. What are all these tokens here? These are what the ship goes on, it looks like. Alliance space, border space, aim to misbehave, you can't take the sky from me. Little cards here. All right, cool deal. Let's see what's in the next box. All right, in here, the very bottom, and this looks like it's got the ships in it. Very cool. Let's take a look at these. Look at that guy. Pretty cool, already painted. Nice when you have a game where things are already painted. There's less stuff on my list to paint. So this is ready to go, ready to play. All these different ships in here already painted. That's nice. And if you're the type of person that wants to personalize it, you can always paint more of it. What else is in here? More cards. What are all these cards? There's so much, there's so much to this game. This is a big game. And the artwork on the inside, it's just classy. That looks like that's about it for the unboxing. I will be back later on with a how to play video, which will take a lot longer, I'm sure. But I hope you enjoyed this one. If you enjoy these videos, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell notification. I've got other videos out. This is a new channel. I'm just starting out. I love board games. I love playing them. I wanted to make this channel just for, for fun, really. We'll see where it goes. I like it. I like teaching my kids how to play. This would be a good way to show them how to play. And thanks for watching. All right, and here it is, starting with the components in the game. These are the components for the main game, all laid out on the table. And then I will go over the components for the other parts of the game. Those are set off to the side right now. These are the components for the core game of Firefly. And you can see that I've got the components. They did a nice job on page four. You can see Firefly the game components. It talks about page 10 is going to be the start of the rules for the main game here. And then I'll go into these later. These are going to be the additions to the game, which all came in the big box. All of these different expansions. And then you'll see on page 10, right there, we're starting with how to play and the setup, which I'll go into that in a how to play video. Right now, I'm just going over what's in the box for my unboxing video. And that is everything here I have set out already. So you've got the rule book, which is what we're looking at right now and you've got the game board or mat 
which is right here. And then I'm gonna talk about each of these other parts of the game. All right, so the first thing we have, starting at the top left, are five supply decks, 25 cards in each. And I've laid out the five supply decks here. So you can see we've got the Osiris Shipworks, Persephone, Regina, Silverhold, and Space Bazaar. Then over here we've got, going from left to right on the top, the five contact decks, 25 cards each. i put those up here. So there's five contact decks, and then I have an example of what's in these. So these are different missions you can complete in the game. And then you have two nav decks, 40 cards each. Now in order to separate these, the expansions have a little indicator there's a little indicator in the bottom left. You see the little skull and crossbones and the little different ship symbols down there. Those tell you what expansion these cards go in. So these all go in a future expansion, which is why I have them separated over here. Everything I've got here is just the core game. So core game, back to the two nav decks. Here we've got alliance space and border space. And then you, we have 40 misbehaved cards are over here, aim to misbehave, denied docking rights. Now each one of these, this is pretty cool, so these are like a deck of cards. There's spades, clubs, then five drive core cards are up here, dice, and all the tokens I've got here on the side. Those are all the tokens included here, tokens, and then a the little dinosaur token, that's your first player token. It came with the regular cardboard one and a metal one, which is pretty cool. It's got some weight to it, a little hefty, it's nice. Seven leader cards. These are the more holographic leader cards that you can see, which replace the standard ones. You got all your money here, 5,000, 2,000, 1,000, 500, 100. Looks like the largest stack is the 1,000 stack and the 100 stack. Seven story cards. Seven story cards are over here. So when you start the game, you'll start with a story. First time in the captain's chair, this is the first story you start with. And then each one afterwards, it's different stories. And let's see, this one's solo play. So you can play solo. The base game, this is supposed to be the hardest one. It's Niska's Holiday. So you should play the other ones first. This card here is the setup card. Our standard game setup goes through how to set up the game. And then what else do we have? We've got the different models. So one Alliance Cruiser model, one Reaver Cutter model, and five Firefly models. Those are all right here. Five ship cards right here. And I think that covers everything. That's everything that you need to play the core game. All set up on the table. Takes up quite a bit of space but not too bad considering how big the box was. I thought we weren't gonna be able to fit everything, but we can, we can fit everything. Okay, this next part I'm gonna talk about is the expansion pack. So this is the first expansion, Breaking Atmo, on page 28. So previously we, I showed you all the components. So all the components are still out here for the core game. Now I'm going to take a look at each one of these next additions to the game these expansions. The first one is the Breaking Atmo expansion, and on page 28 it tells you how to play, and it's going to include five supply decks with five cards each, and five contact decks with five cards each, and it's really easy to take a look. So here's the contact decks, and here's the supply decks, and it all comes together in the game, so you have to separate them. So you're going to look down here, and you're going to see this little symbol here. This little symbol here is going to match the symbol right here in your instruction manual. And you'll see you've got the Osiris Shipworks. There's one, two, three, four, five of those. You've got Silver Hold Munitions. There's going to be five of those. Those all have that same symbol in the bottom. Persephone, five of those. The symbol in the bottom. The Space Bazaar, with the same symbol in the bottom. And Regina, with the same symbol in the bottom. So five new cards for each of your supply decks. Same thing with your contact decks, five cards in each. So patience, one, two, three, four, five. And you'll see that right here, a little symbol, same symbol. The 
is the Breaking Atmo expansion. Badger's got five, One Duel has five, same symbol. Niska has five, and Harkin has five, same symbol. All right, so that's it. So that's pretty easy to add. You'll just add these to your supply decks, add these to your contact decks, and you're ready to go for the Breaking Atmo expansion. All right, next we're gonna look at the Big Damn Heroes, also on page 28. This just adds one leader card and four supply cards. And in case you were wondering, everything is still set up. The only thing I removed was the player mat. I thought it would be easier to just look at the cards with a gray background. So here we're looking at the one leader card and four supply cards. And you'll see that the leader card is Malcolm and the four supply cards are your other leaders, your other heroes in the game. And over here on this side, you'll see the same thing. This just shows the backs of them. And in the big box that I got, there's a set that replaces the original set. So this is the, they, they sent both of them. So it's nice to have, but I'm just gonna be using this set over here, which has the holographic look to it. A little bit shinier, shiny, just like in the movie. All right, so these I'm gonna put in my replacement stack over that I have replaced with hologram cards. So these were the other leader cards that are replaced here. And these are gonna be the ones that I play with. And those are the big damn heroes right here. One leader card, four supply cards. And you'll see on the back, these will go in those decks. One leader, four supply. All right, the next expansion we're gonna look at is the Pirates and Bounties expansion. It's on page 29. And this one comes with two new ship cards with two new ship models, and those are here. So here's your two new ship cards here. One, two, the SS Walden and the Interceptor. And here's their models, cool. Let's see, we'll go from left to right. We got three new story cards here. So the three new story cards are going to have the same little symbol here on the bottom. So you see the little pirate symbol, three new story cards. Each one of them has the little pirate symbol on the bottom so that you know that it goes with this Pirates and Bounties expansion with the little pirate symbol right there. Then over here, five contact decks, five piracy cards each. So the five contact decks are going to be these up here. And on the back, you'll see they have the pirate symbol. So those match your other contact cards that come with the main game here. So you've got one, two, three, four, five stacks. Each one of these, one, two, three, four, five, Piracy cards each, just like it tells you. And the next thing, five supply decks. Five supply decks, each one of these has six cards. So here's the supply decks here. One, two, three, four, five supply decks. Also, the other thing that comes in this game, supply decks, we did all these. Uh, we didn't do the tokens yet. So these tokens here, a lot of them are the same as the base game tokens. So I'm not gonna go over those. The only thing that's new are these Haven tokens here and there's more than three of them that you get. You actually get one for each ship that you already have. So if you look over here, these are the ships, they're color coordinated. The Artful Dodger, Bonanza, Bonnie Mae, Young Key, and Serenity. And each one of these has its own Haven token that comes with it now. And then the two new ships have their Haven tokens. So they're all color coordinated and there's new rules that come with those, which it will explain on page 29. So Havens. Here, havens are planets that have special importance to the corresponding players. Haven tokens are color matched with the ship models. Some story cards will direct you to choose havens during setup. Each story card will detail the haven's importance and which planets may or may not be eligible to select. What else do we have here? That's the tokens, leader cards. We have two new leader cards, Jubal Early and Sash, and those I've got over here. So I've got the Jubal Early and sash that are the holographic hologram foil cards. What else do we have? There's two new drive core cards. Those are right here. And then 20 bounty cards. And those are right here. I already went through counted them all. I've got 20 of them. Alert bounty. Wanted alive, bound by law. Each one has something different on it. And that's it for the pirates and bounties. That's page 29. Now we're looking at the Blue Sun expansion. It has a little dragon symbol on it. And there's some new tokens. The new tokens are over here. And they have
have a little light bulb, or is that a skull? Not sure. Symbol on one side, and on the other side is a shield, an eagle, something with wings. Then after the tokens, we have two Reaver Cutter models. And those look just like the original Reaver Cutter model. You only get one in the core game, so this adds two more. So two more Reavers, and we've got 30 rim space cards. So this is something brand new. These were not in any of the previous expansions. And this is for the rim space, so the outside track of the map, if you remember them, the game board that was on here, the very outer side was all reaver space or rim space. So this is for that section of the space area. So over here we have alliance space and border space. Alliance space in the center, border space on the outsides, and then reaver space or rim space on the outer rim. And then up here we have two more leader cards. So two, two leader cards. And the leader cards are Atherton and Murphy. And these are my shiny ones. Next are 25 Meridian supply cards. So now there's a new city that we can explore. And it has all these different cards. And each card has on the bottom a little dragon symbol so that you know that this goes with the Blue Sun expansion. Next are three story cards and one setup card. Three story cards here, each with a little dragon symbol on the bottom of it and a new setup card. The dragon symbol on the bottom here. Next we have five contact decks. So these are the same decks that we've been using in the game. Five contact decks, five cards each. And if you look at each one of these, one, two, three, four, five, you'll see the dragon symbol on the bottom there. Next we have two new job decks. So job cards, there's 25 Lord Harrow job cards and 25 Mr. Universe job cards. And those are right here. Lord Harrow on the back. You'll see all these different jobs, all with the dragon symbol. And Mr. Universe on the back all have this dragon symbol. And that's it. That's it for the Blue Sun. All right. Now we've got the Kalidasa expansion, page 42. And the first thing we see over here is one Alliance Corvette. That's right up here. One Alliance Corvette. Next is one leader card. And that one leader card is right. And just like before, I've got the hologram card, which will replace the other card. Next, we have five supply decks, five cards each. Those are right here. One, two, three, four, five supply decks, five cards each. One, two, three, four, five. And you can see the turtle symbol in the bottom left corner, which matches the turtle symbol on the expansion pack right here. 25 Beaumont supply cards. 25 Beaumont supply cards also have the turtle symbol on the bottom of them. 31 Rim space cards. So some more of these that we saw in the last expansion. I'll have the turtle symbol on the bottom. Same thing with the Alliance and the border space cards. Alliance and border space cards up here. Also have the turtle symbol in the bottom. And here, tokens. Right here you see all the same tokens except for the one new token is this complete token. It's like a little planet on there. It says complete on both sides. Next thing are three story cards. Three story cards and two setup cards. So those are here. Three new story cards. It tells you how many hours each one should take. Two hours, two hours, two to three hours and has the turtle symbol. Two new setup cards. Five contact decks, five cards each. Those are all here. One, two, three, four, five. And they all have the turtle symbol. 25 Magistrate Higgins job cards. This is completely new for this set. And there's the front and the back. All have the turtle symbol. Now some of them also have other symbols, but these are all the ones you should have for this part of the expansion. And the last one is Fanti and Mingo. 25 Fanti and Mingo job cards. And those also have the turtle symbol on the back of them. And that's it for the Kalidasa expansion. The next expansion is the Coachworks expansion, which looks like it comes with a couple of new ships. The Coachworks expansion on page 47 it has this symbol 
little Firefly spaceship. There's gonna be new tokens. The only new tokens are the Haven tokens. Everything else is the same as the rest of the game. So there's gonna be new tokens and that's for these two new ships here. So there's two new ships, two new ship models, and two new ship cards. And then there's going to be two drive core cards for those ships and four starting ship upgrade cards for those same ships. And all of that I've got shown on the very top here. So two new cards, two new ship models, two new Haven tokens, two new drive core cards, and four ship upgrade cards. Next, you have two new setup cards right here. And everything has the little Firefly symbol in the bottom of it. Firefly symbol in the bottom of all these cards, even these boards have that symbol. And the tokens match colors, same with the ships. One thing to note, if you looked at the other ships that are in the game, and you look at the size of it, these two new ships here are much bigger by comparison. They still look like Firefly ships, but they are definitely bigger when you put them next to each other. So that makes me want to play with these even more. So the two story, two setup cards and two story cards here, two new story cards. One new leader card, which is Zoe. And again, I've got the holographic shiny one compared to the regular one. Holographic one's on the left, and the regular one is on the right. It's hard to tell on the right, but it's definitely shinier. Trust me. We've got five new supply cards. Five new supply cards. There's three on Persephone and two in the Space Bazaar. And each of them has that same symbol in the bottom. And that's it. That's it for Coachworks. Coachworks, page 47. That's that expansion. Two new ships. Pretty awesome. The next expansion is Crime and Punishment. Page 49. And it has this law symbol. And there are new tokens. The new tokens are the wanted tokens. This warrant issued tokens the same as all the others. But there's wanted tokens and those are right up here. So they're the same front and back and they say wanted. 10 alert cards, alliance alert right here. Alliance alert and there are no symbols on the back of them. So you just have to remember or label your deck so that you know that this is for this expansion. Alliance Alert, 10 of them. Then we have Aim to Misbehave. This is the first time we're seeing more of these. There are 40 of them. There's hearts, diamonds, spades, clubs, just like a regular deck of cards. Each one has different things on it. The replay value of this game is incredible. Every time you play this game, it's going to be completely different. So cool. And on this card, you can see a little law symbol right there. And the original cards, these are the original cards. If you look in the bottom, there's a little revolver symbol. So all of these have a little revolver on them. That's the core deck. This is the first expansion where we have more of these cards. And you'll see the little law symbol on the bottom. Now, all that's left are the two setup cards and two story cards. That's it for this expansion. Crime and Punishment, two setup cards and two story cards. And you'll see the little law symbol on both of those. That's it for Crime and Punishment. There are still two more, still flying and 10th Anniversary Collector's Edition. And then I'll do a reboxing after this is all done. Still flying on page 50. It has this little Firefly symbol. You get one Haven token, one ship model, one ship card, and one drive core card. Those all mean that you have one new ship to play with. It's called the Restless Soul, and it comes with nine cargo holds and three stashes. There's all the information on it. Here's the model itself. Looks pretty cool. And you get your Haven token, which matches the color, and your drive core card. That's everything on the top here, and we've got 12 new misbehave cards, aim to misbehave, and each one of these on the bottom, the original has this pistol in the bottom corner, and then the other one that we saw had a different symbol, it was the law symbol, and this card has just some stars, so 
So no, no unique symbol at all on this one. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The next thing on the list here, 24 supply cards. Now, interesting, you see the normal one, two, three, four, five supply cards here, which when I did the five supply cards and I started counting them out, they didn't add up. They've got the symbol, one, two, three, silver horn, one, two, three, four, Regina, one, two, three, four, Cyrus, one, two, three, four, and Percy, one, two, three. So three fours is 12, and then six is 18. So we're missing six more cards. Well, that's these here, which were not in the Beaumont and the Meridian, weren't pictured here. But it was pretty easy to figure out because I found them and they have the same symbol. So there's three here for Beaumont and three Meridian. And that makes your 24 supply cards. And you've got three nav decks, five cards each. Those are right here. Border space, five. Rim space, five. And alliance space, five. Next are three story cards. Three story cards right here. And they each have the same symbol. Angry Crow, Firefly, Ship. And then the last stuff over here, we got five Lord Harrow job cards, five Magistrate Higgins job cards, and 25 Caper cards. Those are new, these Caper cards. Brand new thing. So, five new Lord Harrow job cards. And this is what they look like. Lord Harrow, the front of the cards, all look the same. Magistrate Higgins. And see the symbols so they go with all of those symbols we've already looked at and then these caper cards this is the front or the back i guess this would be the front they all have that same symbol all right and that's it for the still flying the last and final expansion is the 10th anniversary collector's edition i'm gonna get some more cards that's what's next all right this is it this is the last add-on the 10th anniversary collector's edition page 53 this is the symbol for it, a 10 with the Firefly ship going through it. We've got eight promo cards. So those are over here. You can see a couple of them. The front of them here, you see all these Chinese symbols and then it has the little Firefly symbol at the bottom of it, which sets it apart from the other cards, which do not have that golden Firefly symbol at the bottom. So that's how you know this is the 10th anniversary edition one some of those cards there so there are eight promo cards there's five leader cards the five leader cards are bowls and the counselor and these are the shiny edition this is the regular edition bowls the counselor and then the other three hammer captain jane and pedaline and the next thing we've got are the six starting ship upgrade cards. Six starting ship upgrade cards. And we've got those here. Skyhook, caravan pods, send the regular back to them. Cargo hold, Bonanza, Young Key. This one is for Bonnie May, and Serenity, SS Walden, and Interceptor. And you flip them over, same thing, SS Walden and Interceptor, but they're different. So, not sure if it's just extra rules, the extra rules on this side, and then what it does for you on this side. Those are your six starting ship upgrade cards. Next are five Beaumont supply cards. Those are over here. They've got the little symbol in the bottom. Next are five Meridian supply cards here. Same symbol on the bottom. Eight story cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They all have the little symbol in the bottom. Nine solo story cards, so you can play this solo. Solo play, one to two hours, two to three hours, two to three hours, two hours, two hours, two hours, two to four hours. Five bounty cards, a little symbol right there. Five Fanti and Mingo job cards, and five Mr. Universe job cards. And that's it, that's it for the 10th anniversary collector's edition. Next, it says Flying Solo, page 54. This is page 53, so the next page, page 54, Flying Solo. There is a Flying Solo game setup card here. Flying Solo game setup. And page 58, tips for surviving the verse. Page 59, keeping things moving. Page 60, credits. So 
the tips for surviving the burst I thought it was cool. It talks about the first one I read, no fuel, no go, run out of gas, you're drifting, always take a few more fuel than you think you need for a trip to handle emergency course changes or unexpected opportunities. And then it talks about pilots, mechanics, everything. So these are all just tips for playing the game in the back of the instructions here. So this is the list of contents for the game. This is the core contents. And then each of these I just went through are all of the expansion contents in the game and things that were not talked about are up here. First, we'll take a look at this starter token. This is the metal version, I'm assuming, of the starter token. It's nice and hefty. It's got some weight. It's really nice. It's a nice thing, I'm guessing, just replaces this. So starter token. The other thing is this bag. I'm assuming this is a dice bag. Maybe these were just Kickstarter add-ons for the end, but it seems like the only thing that would make sense to go in there would be the dice out of everything included in the game. These are nice. These are envelopes to hold your cards, the giant cards for solo play, story cards, and setup cards, all color coordinated from the GeForce 9 crew. It's a nice little note that they put in the box. And then these cards here, these are nice thick cardboard cards. And this is what they say. I didn't see these listed, but maybe they're just player aids. So it's nice to have. It's always good to have player aids. I'm assuming that's what these are and that they're not for some specific add on. That looks like the same thing on both sides. But this is two different things Alliance Contact, Reaver Contact. All right. And next will be the reboxing. All right, so this is the reboxing video. And first I wanted to start by showing you the inside of these boxes. I mean, how cool does this look? This is the top of the box. This is the bottom of the box here. And then you can see just the artwork that they put into this. It's pretty cool, it's just on the inside of the box. All right, so I'm gonna set this one aside this is the inside of the top of the box, which looks like a computer console, like you're sitting at the helm of Serenity. There's a dinosaur. The pilot likes dinosaurs. He was having a dinosaurs there in one of the episodes. And was going rawr, rawr, playing with him like he's a kid. All right, that's the top box. And just to show you the outside of it. That's what that looks like. All right, so here you see the empty inserts. This is the bottom insert over here. And on the inside you can see are lots of different images that tell you what cards go in each slot. And I'm gonna show you how to do it in just a second. Same thing, this is the middle insert. The top part holds the map that you roll up to the player board. There's all the cards that go in there. And then this spot sits on top of this one and levels it out. I'll show you what goes in each spot right now. So the silver hold card has a pistol, which goes in this bottom slot here. The pistol, I'm not gonna show you every single one, but just take my word for it. This Persephone one is like a city. That's got a little icon there. The Space Bazaar goes here. Regina goes here. Osiris Workshops go here. This red alert one has kind of an eagle looking thing right here that matches that. All of these have a little ship icon on it. It goes in here. And then a little Chinese balloon. Chinese lantern goes here. Meridian goes here. Mr. Universe goes over here. Fancy and Mingo, a little pie sign go here. And what else? So this is, I'm starting with the last edition and working my way all the way to the core game. So the last edition will be on the bottom and that's these cards here. So last edition of each of these cards that go in the envelopes for your story cards. And then these will go either here or here. I'm not sure which one's gonna fit better. So I've got the story cards, I've got the solo, flying solo cards. Those are also 10 setup cards. So. Those I'm just gonna set off to the side like this for now, because in here are gonna be the player boards, which are all over here to the side. So next I'm gonna go to the still flying. So if you see 
off to the side, you can't really see it from this angle, but off to the side over here, I've got each section labeled everything that goes in the section. So this is the next section is the still flying section. And I'm just going to show you bit by bit. I'm just going to do all this all at once and then show a video of it for each section. That way I don't take up too much video time. All right. And this is what it looks like with the still flying expansion added on top of the 10th anniversary expansion. Let's scan the still flying expansion. Let's see, so 10th anniversary went in first. Just all those things. And then the still flying expansion went in next. And those all have the blue label on them. Next, we're going to be doing the crime and punishment. I'll show you that one next one. That one's in there. All right, and this is what it looks like with the crime and punishment added. Crime and punishment has some tokens. Those tokens are right here. I'm not sure where to put those yet. It's got two setup cards, two story cards. Those are in that envelope over here. 10 alert cards. If you notice, I moved. I think these go up here. They were previously down here where that first card symbol comes out. It comes out in the Pirates and Bounties section here, which has this bounty skull and crossed guns right there. But the skull and crossed guns under here matches with these bounty cards here. That's the 10th addition to that. So I moved that up to make room for this, which goes here. And the rest of it, let's see. That's it for the crime and punishment. All right, and this is after adding the Coach Works expansion. We got the two ship cards and the ship models. The models I've already put in here. Ship cards are over here. The tokens are over here. The little stands for the models. The setup cards and story cards. The drive core cards and four starting ship cards are in here. The five supply cards here and here. And the leader card is also in here. All right, and this is after adding the Kalidasa expansion, which you see here has an Alliance Corvette, which I already put in here. The stand is in here. Five supply decks are down here. All the purple note tabs are the Kalidasa ones. Beaumont supply cards up here. Alliance space cards, border space cards here and here. And rim space cards here. Story cards and setup cards here and here. Five contact decks, five cards each, those are right here. The 25 Magistrate Higgins job cards and 25 Fanti Mingo job cards here and here. And that should be it. The one leader card is right here. Extra tokens down here. All right, and this is after adding the Blue Sun expansion. I've got blue post-it notes for each of these. And the Blue Sun expansion has these tokens down here. It's got a little dragon symbol and everything. Two Reaver Cutter models, which I've already put back in here. They're on the bottom part of that. 30 Rim Space cards up here. Two Leader cards in here. 25 Meridian Supply cards over here, which if you look at the Meridian, it's the blue sun on the card. It's pretty cool. Three Story cards, one Setup card over here. Five Contact Deck cards, five cards each. So that's the contact decks up here. 25 Lord Haro job cards, which are here. And 25 Mr. Universe job cards, which are right here. And that's it for the Blue Sun. And this is Pirates and Bounties. Pirates and Bounties adds five contact decks. Five contact decks here. Five supply decks, six cards each. Five supply decks here. You got two leader cards, which are in here. One, two, the Blue Sun expansion. Blue Sun is down there. Come, we got more than two. Let's see one, two. Oh, and the drive cores. Okay. So the drive cores, along with the two leader cards, are those four here and here. 20 bounty cards up here. Three story cards in here. Two ship models I've already put in. And the Haven cards are already put away also. After putting in the Pirates and Bounties, we have the Big Damn Heroes, which is one leader card, which is in here, and four supply cards, which are, there's two in here, and the other two are here and here. And then the last one is Breaking Atmo, which I'll show you next. All right, and this is after adding the last expansion, or the first expansion, so we're going backwards, Breaking Atmo. Five supply decks and five contact decks. 
contact decks, supply decks, all there. And that is everything except for the base game or the core game, which I will add all of those next. And so if you don't see any sticky notes, then that means that on top of it is the core game. So that's how I'm gonna know when I open all this back up again. If I see a sticky note, that means that that's one of the expansions and I'm just gonna put the core game first. These cards here are the cards that were replaced with hologram cards, so that's also gonna go back in the box just in its own spot, maybe underneath one of these other decks. All right, and I think I've got everything ready to put back in the box. So here is the bottom box, and the first one we're gonna put in the bottom box is this section here. This is the bottom section, all labeled. So if you look, all of these labels here mean those are expansions. All of these are not labeled, so these are core cards here. Put the lid on, make sure it's down all the way, all the way around. And you can see there is plenty of room. So they made this big enough that you could sleeve your cards if you wanted to. I mean, each one of these decks is taking up less than half the space, probably a fourth of the space that it could be taken up. So if you wanted to, you could sleeve these cards. I have sleeved tons of cards in the past, and looking at this, I don't think I'm gonna be sleeving these. I think this is a great game, and you want the cards to be taken care of, but the cards are good quality cards, and I don't, I don't see myself playing this game. It's not gonna be taking a lot of shuffling, I don't think, so this game is gonna be fine if you're just careful with it without having to sleeve all these cards. It would cost a lot of money buying all these sleeves. There's hundreds of cards in here. So the next section is gonna be all your miniatures, which I've already put back in here. That goes right here. The next section, this section here, which has the map rolled up in it, or the game board already rolled up in here. I put this bag here, all these tokens. I wasn't sure where to put, and I had these extra spots for these cards here, which looks like they just wanted to make sure that if you sleeved your cards, you would have enough room for all of these cards. Because you can see that this, there's a lot of these cards here. So you have room. There's two icons that are the same here, so that you could split that up into two sections. If you were to sleeve all these cards, same thing here. It's the same icon on the bottom of that. But I'm not planning on sleeving these. I don't need those. That gives me more space to store those tokens. Then we're gonna put on this section here. It fits all the way down, all the way around, nice and snug. As you can see, the labels, those are areas where we're not gonna be using those until we get to that expansion, so everything without a label means that's part of the core set. Next section we're gonna put in is this section here, which has all the dice, that cool first player token. The other first player token and these two cardboard cards that I showed you earlier all of the standees for your ships, all of your player boards here, cards and bounties, core, all the core ones right on top, setup cards, solo play cards, and story cards I stuck over here, just because it was a little too thick to fit there. Story cards, there's a ton of them. That's, gotta be careful with this envelope here. They don't quite fit perfectly. So I've got the money kind of split up, the 5,000s and 2,000s over here, all the rest of the denominations over here. And that's that section. I'm gonna put the lid on. And then we have all the individual player token sections, which I'm just kind of putting an even amount. Each one of these has little icons in the bottom of them, which tells you where they go. And then I also, I just labeled one of these so I could use it as reference, but this is, for the Blue Sun expansion, the Kalidasa expansion, Pirates and Bounties expansion, and Crime and Punishment expansion, there. So I think these are all just trade, like general supply that you can have nearby you while you're playing the game. And we've got instructions, the stickers that came with it, and this, everything's back in the box. And the lid, which is so cool, looks like the computer as you're driving Serenity. That's gonna go on top. And that is the game. I'm gonna do a comparison of just how big this game is compared to, say, Gloomhaven, which I think is the biggest game that I own until this one. That most people know that Gloomhaven is a huge, huge game. And if you put Gloomhaven next to this game for comparison, 
size comparison, let's see. Gloomhaven is a little bit taller. The box is maybe an inch taller, but size wise, left and right, you look at, there's Gloomhaven next to it. This game is definitely a little bit bigger than Gloomhaven. All right, that's it. If you like this video, I'm gonna be doing another video on how to play in the future. Please like and subscribe. This is a new channel, I'm trying to get it going. I'm gonna be doing better videos, more videos in the future, top tens, all sorts of fun stuff. So thanks for watching. Bye.